Hey YouTube, this is a follow-up on my TPMS sensor bypass I ordered from a company in the UK and I want to say that it is finally working correctly. Um, I was having an issue with the original box that they sent me. It would turn the lights off, but then the turn the light off and then it would actually come back on about a minute later. So I contacted them and excellent customer service. They get back to me the next day. They had recommended that, at least for a Mustang, to send the box back and have them reprogram it for 40 PSI in the tires. Um, I don't know what the original box was programmed for. I imagine less. And I received this today, reprogrammed the car, and it works excellent. Um, program the car right away the tire light went off I should have filmed it and then turn the car off put it back on and light still stays off let the car run for a while a minute or two light never came back on so I believe I have a really nice solution for those that have no sensors or bad sensors in their cars um, there is a company I can put a description in my uh, video uh, in the UK they make these little boxes and basically how it works is it runs off two AA batteries you keep it on all the time you do a little programming with your car with your key on the brake off the brake I'll have that part of the video in here too and it uh, basically programs each tire sent to each tire light around the car now, I don't know how it works exactly because I don't even have sensors in this car because this has drag radios in the back. No sensors in this car whatsoever. But it does something with the car that it programs the sensors and it keeps them programmed so the car thinks that you have sensors or, and good, or good sensors and it doesn't turn your TPMS sensor on. So, um, pretty cool product. It was only 60 bucks. Yes, I know there's other alternatives out there but with like having the PVC pipe with sensors and air in it and I don't know that just seems like having a pipe bomb in your trunk and I'm not comfortable with that driving around with that and this is pretty freaking cool it works off two AA batteries and I can't imagine this takes a lot of juice so you basically keep this on all the time whether you're in the car or not so yeah eventually you'll have to throw some new batteries in there but I mean I got some energizers in here. I can't imagine having to replace these for at least a few years. And even then, when I have to, just put two in and you're good. So, um, I will post an earlier video of how I program the car, how it works. But keep in mind that this is the follow-up to the previous box that was not holding the program on my car. And this is a 2008 GT500. Um, but the new box I received today works as advertised, so I would highly recommend it. Big shout out to the company. Thumbs up. I appreciate you working with me and awesome customer service. So hope you enjoy it and just let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Okay, YouTube. This is a product I ordered for my Shelby GT500. I have uh, big tires on the back, so... I have a TPMS light on because I only run about 20 PSI when I'm driving around for traction. So I know a lot of people don't want the tire light on and they, some people online have built those pipe things and I don't know, I don't feel like that's something safe to drive around with in your car. I almost feel like you have like a pressurized pipe bomb. And I also heard from some people that it doesn't work. So I went on eBay. And I actually found this TPMS bypass. Supposedly, this is a box that you keep in your car. It runs on two AA batteries that will actually trick the computer and turn the light off. So I just actually opened it. This is what it looks like. Um, I did take the one screw out that was here, but it's a very basic box. I am. Um, this is for a Ford. They do make them for other vehicles. Very basic, on/off switch, and it runs off two double a battery so I'm going to insert those now and look at the instructions and see what the next step will be to actually get it working and hopefully turn off my tire light on the Mustang 
Okay, um, I did open it, and as you can see, these are the two batteries I put in, and this is the type of board that is built into it. And I have no idea how this is supposed to work, so we'll be doing this together. I'm going to close this up and go to the instructions, but I thought you guys might want to see what it looks like actually inside the box. Okay, there is a series of steps to do this, so I'm going to follow these steps and see if this actually works. Um, I have no way of holding the phone and doing this. You have to put your foot on the brake and just do a bunch of stuff. So I want to concentrate when I put this on, but these are the steps, and I'm supposed to flip the switch on at some point. I did do a test according to their ad to make sure my car was compatible for it. So it should work. Um, I will start the car and um, the TPMS sensor light is on. I have no sensors in this car whatsoever. So we'll see if it works. But these are the instructions. So I'm going to follow these now and see what happens.